I'm here to tell you a little bit about TDO Miniforms. It's a plugin for WordPress that allows uh, your visitors to contribute new pages or edit existing pages. So what I've done here is I've logged into my WordPress uh, site, indolene.com, which is for independent musicians and um, their fans to add their lyrics and notes and tabs. Here's a, here's a couple screenshots of it. And uh, you can see here's a song that's been contributed. Let's say a user wants to edit that. They click that Fix Song button, and boom, there you go. There, there are the lyrics, um, or rather the post content, uh, preloaded into a form. All they have to do is edit it, click, yep, I agree that you know I'm, I'm donating my content here, save, and then it gets submitted to the WordPress back end where the administrator, me in this case, can approve that edit. Um, additionally, here's a contribute page, which is set up to be just like the, uh, it, it actually mimics the um, entry creation page that WordPress uh, comes with. So for example, there's a song title, band name, lyrics, URLs. Those are all fields that uh, are match the entry page um, in the back end. So here you see the song title or the post title, the content. Over on the right there's a tag and that's the, the band name. And it all lines up. And so really, this is, you know, this allows users to basically create an entry, which then goes into draft form in my WordPress backend. And then I just approve it or edit it or do whatever I need. Um, but it really, you know, it, it creates a lot of uh, ability for collaboration. And um, that's just, that's great. It's very much like a wiki, but users don't even have to sign up or log in or anything really. Um, I've actually included the you know name and email address fields just to keep people honest and um, you know give credit, but that's uh, that's that. So here we are in the you can see in the lower left the TDO mini form section, and I just showed you the main page which has a donate button, and I, I highly suggest that you donate. I mean this is a great tool. Um, I'm walking through some of the the main options here, and uh, now I'm on the form options, which really the, the meat of this uh, tool. So I'm on form one. In the upper right, you can see there's one and two that I just hovered over. Those are the two forms I've created. Over on the left, you can see new, delete. Um, that's how you create a new one or delete an existing one. And along the top are the different sections in the blue links and then the different tabs for each page. So on that, that general one we were just at, um, we, were, we were editing, uh, we we're basically creating a submit form. That's what I highlighted right there. So it's not an edit form. This is a submit form. And um, these are the different basic options here, the setup. The next area that we're, we're going to here is, is sort of the uh, form creator. And you've got these widgets which you can drag and drop and then build your form out to be exactly what you want. So, you know, I have the who am I, that's your name and email address and stuff, tags. And I've kind of renamed that because I'm using tags for the band name here. And then you've got your content and your categories and all those different things. I, dra I dragged all of those up from the bottom and then customized them. Um, as, you, as you click on any one of those widgets, once they're up in the Your Form section, you can change uh, the names, you can change which tags are allowed, whether or not it's required. So it's just a really, really well-made system. You do all that stuff here in sort of the WYSIWYG area. And then from here, um, you can go to the next step which is the form hacker and that says hack. I'm hovering over right now and clicking. Boom, here we are on the hack area. It's got some information at the top about tags, but you can see this is the actual code. And I, you know, I really enjoyed this feature because I know HTML and CSS and a little bit of PHP, so I was able to go in and change the titles and organize stuff and line it up and just really nail it down, um, which is great because sometimes, you know, you, you want to change something small and, and line everything up perfectly and you can't they don't have a feature like this. Um, the other cool thing is if you've created a form, here we are going back to the create area. So let's say we created a form, we hacked it a little bit, and then we realized, oh, we want to add a new field on the create section. You go back and you add that field, you drag it up from the widgets area. Well, now, now your WYSIWYG is different from your hack. And uh, one feature they've got here is when you do that, you save the WYSIWYG area, um, and then you can actually compare it. You can compare the code when you go to hack. It'll, it, at the top, there will be a message that says, these two are not the same, compare, and you can compare the code. And then you can sort of copy and paste and, you know, continue in hacker mode because that's really where it's the most uh, fully featured and, you know, you're really going to get the best results.
Um, so here we are um, on the next page, which is the messages, and it's basically got messages that, you know, like when a user submits a form, it'll say, thank you for submitting. You know, you can customize that. It'll also send an email, and it'll be like, you know, you can customize what's sent. The next area is the export. That's where we are here. And you can export the forms once you've created them. Because, I mean, you'll spend hours tweaking it just right. And, you know, you want to export that so that, you know, if, if something happens, you've got a backup. So I've done that. And um, here we are. So that's the first form. That's the contribute form. Now we're going on to the second form. And this is the... Uh, oh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you the contribute tag. So there it is. And um, it's that little tag at the bottom. And it's underscore form one. So T D O M F underscore form one. It took me a while to figure that out because there is a feature within the T D O mini forms, you know, toolbar that says create a page automatically for me. But then it names it its own name, and I wanted to have this named, you know, contribute. So I already had a page called contribute. I just didn't have the form. So having that tag is really useful. And then the next form I make it'll be underscore form two. So T D O M F underscore form two in brackets. So there you go. So now we're moving on to form two, the second form. This is my edit form, and this allows users to go to my posts and click, oh, you know what, the lyrics are wrong. I want to change this or add something to it. Edit. And that's the one that I showed at the very beginning of this review that uh, populates a field and lets people edit it. So the only difference here is, you know, you go up to the top, hit new, and it creates a new form, and then here we are in just sort of the form options. Over on the general tab, there was a second, you know, there's a couple bullets, and it says, "Do you want to, um, you know, is this a submit form or an edit form?" So you just click, "Oh, it's an edit form." So now I'm going to show you what it looks like live. Here it is, edit a song. So if we were going to get to it, here we're at lyrics, and um, there is a feature that would automatically put a button at the bottom that says "Edit this," but I've got this link at the top on the right there that says "Fix song." So I wanted to make it custom, put it in my own location. I go, I went ahead and did that. And um, when you click, basically when you click that, it takes you to that uh, populated form, um, which I believe is loading here. So basically it's going to populate the text area field with the lyrics, and it's just going to let the user, whether they've logged in or not, they can just go ahead and start changing stuff. And when they hit submit, it, it it just saves that to the back end here in the TDO mini form section and it just awaits approval which is great so you know it gives anyone the ability to edit my site and contribute they don't have to feel like real constrained the only limitation here is that right now there are only a few widgets for the edit thing so you don't have custom fields I can't let people edit the custom fields and you know they're just and, and that's kind of a bummer but you know it might be coming in future release uh, so that's okay um, the other thing is right now the view and compare features for the edit uh, forms don't really work and I know I reached out to uh, the creator and you know he's he's kind of working on that I think it's still kind of going on so that's it here's the URL to the TDO mini forms area of wordpress.org and I just want to thank Mark Cunningham who made the TDO mini forms tool it's awesome it's got every feature I could have ever wanted and uh, I hope this review helps other people leverage its its uh, strengths um, and yeah, if you know any independent musicians, send them over to indolene.com and uh, have them contribute. And uh, thank you, everyone. And Sustainable Online Solutions is the host here, um, and that's uh, one of my side projects. So if you need hosting or you need some SEO or a WordPress blog or some help, leave a comment on this post here. Um, go to sustainableonlinesolutions.com, and I'll help you out. Thanks. Bye.